Good morning everyone and welcome back to Two-Headed Wolf Gaming Channel as we're playing Hearts of Iron and we're playing as Greece now turned into Hellas and we need to get ready for what will most likely be World War II that we will have to fight against the Germans and also against Italy which will put us you know in a pretty difficult situation we are now allied with the allies were in their faction and you know as soon as World War II is done I am going to do a second run where we are going to be fighting as uh, the Byzantine Empire since you know the channel is small don't always get the answers to questions that I put out but I want to do the Byzantine Empire as well so we'll have that as the next playthrough of Hearts of Iron and here we're gonna push for World War II and what are we doing? We're training some troops we, we're also trading for certain resources at this point I think we don't need this much steel anymore yeah, we could go down with that, get that extra factory back we're, we don't have enough rubber, which might be a bit of a problem. Well, let's see. If we take a look also at our buildings... And I'll slow down the speed just for a second. Well, we're going to upgrade our infrastructures in these places. Apparently these don't give us that extra rubber that I want. But let's see how we work on our equipment. We're very close to having everything we need. We lost plenty, plenty of our ships. Let's see, we have everybody here. These are... These need to train. Start exercise, yes, because they're rookies. Okay, that is better, at least. Now they're trained. Mm. What's their tendency? Their tendency is to go fascists. So I'm imagining that we'll probably have to go to war with Bulgaria at some point. I might need to split some troops up and have them protect the coast because I feel like we're going to fight Italy as well. The year is 1931, so at this point the war with Poland should be coming up. France will probably have war declared on it by, by Germany as well. The United Kingdom now has a big territory in here. Let's see, connecting our prefectures gave us in Peloponnese 2 infrastructure and Epirus 2 infrastructure plus 10 base stability. We're doing great on stability. What are we going to go forward with our research? Restoring our home. Uh, we'll discard the opinions of Germany, but we'll provide pluses to France and the UK. Division events on core territory, that would be good. Extra stability, more democracy, war support, daily command power. You know what, I think industry going forward for industry is better. also go this in this direction right with the docking rights and then get to appeal to the Soviet Union let's take the science maybe we go straight up for this cooperate with foreign powers uh, like the monopolies would provide us with minus 22 consumer factories more research, 
Less calls for economic and trade laws, trade deal opinion, crackdown on monopolies, we just remove the national spirit to foreign monopolies. And I think we're okay there. Exporting commodities. Yeah, we could go on a very export-based country. We could get some tourism. You know what? Let's go with, in, with research first. Let's get down. The fate of Czechoslovakia okay, has been sealed here as well. Zog submits to Italy. And thus... We need a new front line. Let's take... Are there mountains in here? Only some hills. Bulgaria has actually... Yeah, more mountainous, more mountainous zone, so I'll leave the mountaineers there, and I'm just gonna move four of these, and we'll assign them here to begin with, right, I need them to take this zone, where are we with training our people, oh, they're almost done, I feel like we need... We definitely need a few more units. Uh, some motorized divisions would be good as well. Some mountaineers, like we can't do that anymore. Uh, let me double check on the template. Oh, now we have that extra artillery in. Probably a good idea if I was to grow in here. So it's more supply, less organization, less piercing costs a bit more but it provides us with 20% initiative could be good overall the higher the initiative a unit has the quicker it can get reinforced into a battle and the quicker it gets its planning done maybe I'll throw in a different type of I'm thinking... That I should probably throw in a different type of... Of um, unit. Basically, I'm thinking anti-tank. Now, I won't have really any problem with tanks when fighting Italy. Because I think they only have like some light units. But there's going to be a problem when it comes to the... Germany's war machine, right? Do we don't don't we have any other ships? Let's see, where are our units? Uh, let's also change our planes. Now here here we have only a very small fleet is remained. Upgrade ship. Ah, there's no point in upgrading the ships. Oh, yeah. Let's do some patrols. Mm, maybe we'll remove this region. One of the problems here. And let's do a quick check. How many ships does Italy have? On the intel, with what we know... Mm, they have 200 to 300 convoys, let's see, is it here? 115 to 241 ships. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure how we're going to fight against that. This is going to be difficult. How do we get our production up? 
right? We really need this to happen. And we need to happen, make it happen quick. Okay, you, I guess, yeah, part of the mission will be here. Let's see. Speed it up just slightly. What are we going to get? Fuel gain, dockyard, construction speed. I think this might be one that we're going for. Let's get some investment into what more submarines, bigger submarines. Snorkels dramatically reduce the visibility. Okay, but that is a bit further away. We have torpedo launchers. And we get this. Oh, we can get this by just spending some of our points. We have some bonuses to research. Hmm. And this is just straight up. You know what? Instead of destroyers, we should make a bunch of submarines. We can't reach them early on. Not really. So how about we do this? Right? Yeah, we're researching this. It's going to be done. But let's go with submarines. I think I like that idea. And I'm going to spend some of these for the reduced research. Mm. Maybe I should send her in Italy. Let's see. We'll go on Intel. Yeah, you are done. I want you to come around here and see like trade interdiction, I think, is the one that we want. Wolf pack, submarine surface detection. Yeah, right? Just go this way. Or a strong fleet is focused around battleships that we won't be able to support. Base strike that we won't be able to support. So maybe we'll go this way with trade interdiction. Modify government, we only have one modification there to mechanic and we don't care for. Let's double check this. Where are we at? Yeah, here. This is the new cruiser. We'll finish this one. And then over here I will say that I want the submarine. And with that in mind, let's see if I go to the government and we'll to check this. Naval research speed. Okay, apparently it doesn't matter too much. Yeah, I think that is the better choice. Like having a fleet of submarines is better than what we can have here with a heavy cruiser and a few cruisers. Like we could do more with a bunch of submarines than anything else. Okay. Italy joined the German Reich. Okay. Sophistry and science, this is where we're going next. Let's see. Going for a legacy of war would increase our land doctrine research by 100%. You know what? The backbone of the army sounds great. Yeah, and I think I want this with the Reichen Company and support artillery. The Hellenic Naval. Let's do this. 35 days and we get some naval. The Molotov Ribbentrop has been has happened. Oh, and now there's they've split up Poland already. 
uh, as an idea. Okay. Let's see. Modifications. Cooperate with foreign and we'll get these. And I want the dockyard. What about the rest of them? Artillery attack and defense is good. Infantry attack and defense is good. You know what? Let's start with this. Radio detection. Okay. All fire of the gun of the ship gun is controlled from a center position, ensuring a tight grouping in the shots. Okay. Through fire control system. Yeah, I don't know that it's going to help us that much with submarines. Now we're producing submarines and we're doing it, it at a quite at quite a good speed here. I mean of course, but still. Construction free, that is done. Getting these extra resources, shall, shall I go that way? Well, on planes, I won't have time right now to, to work on that too. Let's see, infantry. Infantry, yeah, let's get the guns. Our troops, they don't have enough support equipment. Bulgaria's government supports the IMRO. Okay, magnetic detonator is done. So where are we going for next? Improve ship torpedo launcher. that is the way we should go. Right, this is going to take us some time. Getting that extra production cap is good as well. Let's start with the doctrine. And what do I want to do? This is with mechanized support and armor and we don't have that. Yeah, then we're going to go this way. Supply consumption, land night attack, that is great. Okay, let's go this way then. Spend some of this XP to reduce the days. I think that is a good idea. No national focus. A modern military that will happen soon. The Greco scrap, the Greco Turkish naval treaty. Lining ourselves politically with Britain or with Germany will allow us to rebuild some of our old heavy ships. Ah, so this is one way to get ourselves to, to the level that we want with this. Uh, maybe early on, right? When fighting with the Byzantine Empire. What else do we need? One of the following. Rejuvenating Athens, making use of our islands or clear the slums. Oh, one of these. Okay, well... Exporting more luxury commodities. Expand our tobacco industry. You know what? I think I like that. Let's go this way. We don't, there is a problem here. Like I have all. Look at this fuel. Okay, new plan. Ships. Where? Where is? Where you? Okay. Well, I'll ask them to stop patrolling. And go, let's go to a different point. Maybe we'll put you here, right? A bit away from the rest of them. And let's see if I can make enough. Yeah, apparently we are able to support some of the submarines. 
We need more synthetic oil. We're still not there yet. We should have acted here a lot sooner than we are now. The fall of Nanjing. Let's see. United Mexican stays there. Here we have... Yeah. The war with China continues. Okay. Well... When it comes to this fleet, I guess I'll put them in a different group and keep them, maybe keep them in cans. Like, just keep them there. And then we'll have this guy. Can I give you some new traits? No, not yet. But if I ask him to... Patrol... Let's say patrol. We say around these areas. Okay. At least on that side it seems like we're good. Am I assigning the submarines to the wrong place? Yes. Give it there. I want this combined. And then when it comes to production, we'll just throw them on this. The legionnaires of Bulgaria join the Axis. Okay, so Bulgaria has just turned. So we know where, what war we have around here. It's going to be a problem here against Italy. You know what? Let's deploy these troops. We're going to take five of these. Are we going to make a secondary division? We have too many troops. exactly what I had in mind but let's do let's create a third army we'll take five or six of these and put them in here together with these guys we'll assign them to this front line And we'll assign you over here. Or we just have to... I think we have to create like new battle lines. Let's see. Something like that. Mm, whose lines are these? Acuste! Paragelma! Etimos Nikita! I don't really understand that, but sure, we'll leave it as it is. Let's see, Mountaineer, Trickster, Infantry and Career Officer and the ability to throw in another one of these. And over here we're gonna put this guy. Venezelist or Loyalist. Uh, or another Mountaineer. With reconnaissance, war hero. Now let's throw this guy in. You. I'll have you assigned here. And we'll put an offensive line over here. And then with you. Over here. We're gonna have an offensive line up to here. Now we put everybody in place. Germany has ignored the warning. 
Let's go to tobacco business. War has been declared on Poland. Poland joins the Allies. Oh, that radio is really cool. Cold to arms. Well, here we are. Start land lease, sure we'll do that. Insufficient resources. Land lease, yeah, let's get as many equipment, as much equipment as we can. From it. Mm. What are we going to do? Division speed, division defense. That could work. Let's do some division attack. We could use more units to be trained. Like this many. And we'll set them here in central Macedonia. Decisions. War propaganda, we don't need to do any of that. Oh. So, at this point, is here the war. Available planes in reserve. And although he now says he put forward reasonable proposals, which were rejected Actually, let's by the bring them around here. That is not a true statement. The proposals and we'll say to you that I want you normal operations and during the day. We're at war. Italy, we're at war with Italy as well. Okay, we also need to defend our land. So let's slow down this. Let's see what's going to be happening. What missions do we have? Just air superiority, please. Other decisions, war bonds, emergency factory. No, I think that is about it. Don't really have a lot of fuel. The situation in which no word given by Germany's ruler could be trusted. But plenty of equipment, so that is good. This should work to our advantage, at least for a while. Like, let's stop building this. I want the submarines. Mm. Are we fully exporting? Like, why are we in such a low resource? Look at this. What is taking most of it? So, for our steel. More support equipment, more of these. Yeah, we need a lot. You know what? Let's just cancel this production for now. Get our equipment up to par. And what else? Well, if we take a look... Yeah, instead of free trade, maybe we'll go to export focused. Foreign monopolies means the trade laws cost 75%. Okay. Bulgaria didn't join the war just yet. What type of war do we have? Because it doesn't seem like we've been called into it. There is a justification. 
location of war, okay. Decisions, we went through that already. Yeah, we need more steel here. Let's try to buy more. Yeah. So Germany is coming in. Russia doesn't seem to, to have declared war, did they? No. Okay. Yeah, we're not gonna rush in here. There's no real point in doing that. Expand our tobacco industries, okay. So now... If I encourage tourism, yeah, we will lose our tourism industry as soon as we enter a state of war, so that is not good for anything. Mobilize the economy. Modify foreign monopolies by consumer goods factories minus 5% and gain world support and a few other things. Yeah, let's do this way. Support equipment. We're gonna get pretty much everything we can. But we only have like six convoys left. Yeah, we're, we're out of petrol. We're out of oil. Oh, so this is like the... The only country that's in the war or something? Sure. Let's see, over here I'm going to go with division defense. Okay, we had the naval battle here between German and Great Britain. I'm guessing there's some sam submarines there. Message from the Dominion, yeah, they cancelled our lease, that is fine. But I want these to be priority. The Panay incident. Oh! So, is the US already in a bit of a, you know, they're getting a bit annoyed? You know what, if Italy declares war, like they have troops here, Germany has troops there as well. I need to take some of my troops here. Okay. Say no. I think I already did that. Prososhi! Prososhi! Hmm. Akuste! Yeah, I think this is somehow my fault, but I'm not sure exactly what. Akuo! And how? Hmm. No, I'm going to put like some of you here and as I said we'll have the offensive line go this way uh, and I will need some of you let's say three of you with another one at least to go in a different group and have you defend like these two territories here and we're gonna provide you with the fall of Warsaw yeah let's put this guy in charge yeah we need more troops here and quick we're running out of fuel constantly so hopefully we will get some units soon on that side some units of oil 
I'll throw in another 10 divisions. By the way, we're gonna make these episodes longer, because I'm putting them out in the weekend where I, when I have a bit more time to look around and play on the map. At least we have some support from Great Britain. I'm not sure exactly what this war is about. Almost feels, feels to me like it bugged out or something. Okay. Yeah, Poland is no more. The United Kingdom has called the Netherlands as our ally in the Slovakian-British War. Don't they know something about World War II? Like the fact that they don't have enough defenses? Oh, USSR occupies Eastern Poland. Good. They were given territory. Okay, enemy has air superiority. Okay, Luxembourg, whatever, whatever. Mobilize our economy is done. Let's see, what do we want? More civilian factories and a military factory. Manpower. I mean, that is a pretty good number of soldiers. Or get more docks. Let's get the man power. I would love to get more subs. Let's get the submarines. Let's work towards that. How are we on, on the research? Oh, we're very close to getting a few. New researches. Emergency factory conversion, I could do that. But I guess one of the main reasons is like, why aren't we at war? Infantry offensive, done. This one will be at a hundred percent reduction. We can, oh, no, I guess we can't reduce it too much more than that. This will not really provide us with benefits. So I'm thinking of researching something else. Okay. We've researched like better weapons, we could go this way and say like, okay, let's start producing some of them. Yeah, Italy is not in the war yet. No, they're just allies, but World War II hasn't really started. We're taking a look at this. What do I want? More production, cap. I think the extra resources. Fuel gain from refineries, let's go with that. I am excited about the game, but I, I, I have the feeling... Like, I get that feeling that I haven't played this game in a long while. There's some chaos going around here. For me. I can't totally put my finger on it. I think we're gonna go down from free trade, we're going to go down to export focus. Right, just get that political power in. Let's see when this war will start. Now at this point with this region, I guess we have a civilian factory. But I almost feel like giving it back to Romania. 
raid interdiction, let's see, what's the next? Submarine surface detection, organization, torpedo reveal chance minus 10%. I, I like that idea. Keep going this way. Fuel gain from refinery, shall I do that? You know what, at this point I think the answer is a yes. Factory output would be, be great, some military... Like, if once we get to cooperate with foreign monopolies, we can get the dockyard output, infrastructure, infrastructure, construction speed, and industrial resource speed. Mr. Speaker, on Friday evening last, I received His Majesty's commission to form a new administration. It was the evident wish and will of Parliament and the nation that this could be mm. conceived on the broadest possible basis. Let's just and that it dock them all parties, for the moment. Try to get a bit more fuel in. And also the parties of the opposition. Adrian has capitulated. A war cabinet has been formed of five members. Did I not accept the invitation to the right? I think I did. The unity of the nation. The three party leaders have agreed to give control of state as for control. The three fighting services have been filled. It was necessary that this could be done. In one Send attaché. On account of the extreme urgency and rigor of events. Twenty percent of their army experience gained. War support plus ten and military intelligence data sharing. Oh, we could do this. They will receive division organization and planning speed. Well, let's go with France on that. Let's give them some strength. Right, we need France to hold the line. This part of my task will be completed, and that the administration will be complete in all respects. Sir, I considered it in the public interest to suggest that the House should be summoned to meet today. Mr. Speaker agreed and took the necessary steps, in accordance with the powers conferred upon him by the resolution of the House. As soon as we can deploy them, the I think the I'm going to bring today, them here. The adjournment will be probably here until Tuesday, the 21st of May, with, of course, provision for earlier meeting if need be. The business to be considered during that week will And this is stressful. <laughs> what? War is stressful? Nah. I now invite the House, by the resolution of trade. in my name, to record its approval of the steps taken. Route out resistance, diplomatic pressure. Okay. Denmark joins the Allies. No, I guess it's really it's still trying to still tries to keep it somehow somewhat historically. You know what? Let's have her. In this crisis, I hope I may be pardoned if I do not address the House at any Let's build today. some intel. I hope that any of my friends and colleagues or former colleagues who are affected by the political reconstruction will be somewhere in here. We'll start building some. With which it and has been maybe sabotage away. some of their I would say to the house, and industry. Let's see, boost ideology. No. Quiet intel network. Maintain a network of local informants and other contacts while minimizing the risk of detection. Hey, propaganda. Italy has joined the German Reich as our enemy. I think the war has almost begun here. Yes. We're gonna put pressure there. We're gonna start 
Let's see, where is it? Where are our submarines? There they are. Well, let's put them on patrol. And just in these two territories. Let's see. Yeah. Italy is already here. Let's go forward. Uh, do we have the troops ready to be deployed? Like, if I choose this location, can I? Yes, I could. Okay. We're gonna take all of these, provide them with a uh, front line here. And we're gonna do our best to take them all. Cooperate with the foreign monopolies, we're gonna go this way. Yeah, it's going to be a bit difficult to hold these lines. We're gonna try. Let's try to make some way here. I take over the ports. Let's see what else can we do on this line. Well, if we just hold it for now, that should be more than enough. But even holding it will be slightly difficult. But let's work on that. Let's try that. Bulgaria, like they should call in Bulgaria. Mm. They have good opinions of us. What would they take? I guess we're not really the leader in this, so. Look at this. We've made some progress here. Let's try to see if we can push further. Finland rejects the demands, so there's a war now with Russia there. On in Germany, our allies are making way. Seems like they're making some progress. In Italy, we're we're not in the greatest of situations. Let's see, we have a spy. We. have a lot of power, should have infiltrated him or her a lot earlier. But hey, many mechanics which I, I don't really know. Inferior enemy. Let's try to push forward, see if we can make way into some of these regions. How about our submarines? How are they doing? Well, they're out of fuel, but not nothing more to say there. Let's see, how are we on the construction side? Well, we got bombarded in a few territories, I think. And in Constantinople, we're still building the synthetic fuel. Luxembourg has capitulated. Okay. Oh, there's a problem here then with Italy. Yeah. I'm hoping they will be able to hold the line though. I wonder if Bulgaria is, won't be cold in the... If, if they were to call Bulgaria here, we would be in such a good position. Let's stop these attacks. Right, if we're not making way. We've made way where it needed. We're gonna wait. Recoup. Come on, Bulgaria. Join the war, because I am looking forward to taking you out. Okay. 
here we've made some progress. Improved computing, what do we have? Another advance to fire control, but we don't need it. Resource gain efficiency would be one important set. Maybe fuel gain. Let's do with that. Because it doesn't matter how great of some of a something we have. If at the end of the day. Uh, let's see if we can not take over them here. Yeah, as I said, it, it doesn't matter how good of a submarine you have, if at the end of the day you they won't leave the ports because they don't have fuel. Right? Not yeah, yes. a good way there. Okay, so we need to sit and reorganize. Hmm. Okay, making some progress here. Let's attack. Let's push these guys in as well. Every little bit counts. So we're gonna make all progress we get the airport we took the ports next we're going for the airport mountain infantry level two that is good let's see support weapons we're going to go with this first italy hasn't pushed further than before we are still making progress in Germany. I like that Belgium is holding well. Improved oil processing, that is great. Let's go to the production efficiency now. Cooperate with foreign monopolies is done, and we can get the Academy of Athens, which will give us an extra research slot, and that is great. Great Britain is... is doing well in Africa, at least as well as one could. I'm not going to express more than that right now. Doesn't seem like on this part of Africa, on the northwest. They're doing that well. Okay. Let's see. Can I surround them except for, you know, Because I would really love, like, if they were to hold this line. Perfect. But I need one of them to be here, to hold that line. Bulgaria still hasn't decided to push there. Here we have surrounded these troops. Let's bring these guys in. Message from the United Mexican States. Okay, that is fine. Cancel and list. Uh, let's keep going with this. We're almost done here. Yeah, they, won't, they won't have any more supplies. Absolutely great. Yeah. Here, unfortunately, they've made progress. You. Front line. Right here. Right now. I want your offensive line to go over these two. Mm, no, I'll just say division assignment to this. And another offensive line here. Let's activate this as well. Acoustic. 
Okay, let's see. How are we doing here? We're almost done. I'm gonna leave these armies in here. Could I get some... Not docking rights. I think we'll need to start improving situation. Let's guarantee independence. Let's improve relations. Let's go to our resources and say... Let's say, right, less exports. I want to also go with the British... English Electric British Industrial Benefactor. We'll do that. Okay. Here we're almost ready. Yeah, we're gonna take these guys out. As I want, as soon as we can... I would like him to give us military access. Because if he gives us military access, of course, the problem with giving us military access is that the enemy also gets military access. But the best part would be that we could go take over this port, we could come here, take over this area, right? It would be a problem for the Italians. Okay. Apparently there's nothing there to occupy the territory, so let's do this. We're taking a, another shipyard from them. Yeah, they don't really have anything else. Either they moved out or something. Okay. And I say this. That is really cool. But we do have a problem yeah, against the Italian fleet. They're super strong. What is that? The Megali idea is the supreme dream of all Hellenic people. From Epirus to Smyrna, Greece will be made whole once again. Rename Gri... Girocaster. Hellas is fully independent. Has completed focus. Okay, controls North Epirus. Ah! So now that we've controlled North Epirus, we can do this, gain stability, war support, and we'll rename the area. Let's see, what is this? Karaburg Iron Steel Factory has been modernized through Tanalisier. Yeah, I don't know what that is. But okay, with you... What should I do? Here we still need to work on our reputation. Yes, For yes. now, maybe we'll say defend, right, a few of these areas. I think that sounds about right. Soviet Union and Finland? Really? They went for white peace? Good job, Finland! Here we're almost done. Let's see. Shall I, after this, bring troops? I am afraid to bring troops to Africa. Like, I remember how it is to fight in Africa and the supply lines. It's really off. I want to do here for now? No. Okay. Well, we have some political power, but I don't think we could change anything. Netherlands, Luxembourg is out. The rest of the countries are still staying still strong. What is our... Oh, we are at 18%. We've done some good here. But come Bulgaria, please join the war, I would say. Bringing Bulgaria in would really make a difference. Okay. 
should I be training more troops? We're at 125,000, so that is not really. Yeah, the Italian fleet is really strong. We're doing our best to try to sink some of their ships. Our experience is very low and our fuel is low as well. But we're gonna support them as much as we can. What is this? Locating a task force in the central Mediterranean Sea. Okay. And we're trying to bombard them. So we kicked the Italians out of this region as well. How close are we? Can we get... As for military... Okay, so we're going forward with this. It's get... We're getting to be in a pretty good position. Hopefully we'll get soon some, some of the axes necessary. Is there anything else I need to worry about? Like against Italy, like they have enough troops here. I could try to get to Italy on this side. How is the infrastructure? Zero. Yeah, they won't really be able to support us. I think I'm leaving Africa alone. And maybe we're gonna take some of these military troops. And I will say to you, hey, sign to this. But go for area defense and please provide us with some defenses. You know. Like so. Five more states. And with the rest of you. I think we're gonna do something different. I'll say to you that I want you to be here and prepare for war. And with you, I'm gonna take out this front line. And for now, I'll just assign it here. Right, as soon as we can get some access, we will set a new front line around this area, like I will march some troops as soon as we can to get this port and then put a front line here. I feel like that is probably a, the best idea I can come up with. Given that we're supported by Romania here, like I don't see a problem against Bulgaria if they decide to join the war. We can do it in 8 moves, more, more like, most likely. Um, but I think I deleted the wrong line. Let's say you. Right. Perfect. And I'll say division assignment over here. And with you, we'll have an offensive line like so. Perfect. And this is a story of great survival in World War II. <laughs> okay, Italy is being slightly pushed back. France is being pushed back in here. Nationalist Spain. They didn't join any war yet. Germany is still staying strong, even though they're not making progress. It seems like the Allies are making more progress in here. Denmark is not in the war. Norway and Sweden still staying strong. I'm surprised Finland is. The Soviet Union, what might they be going for? Socialism, realism? Japan. Japan is actually 
making progress, but we will see for how long that lasts. Okay. I feel we have done pretty much everything that is important to do in these areas. And it is time now to go on this side. Aligning ourselves politically with Britain or with Germany will allow us to rebuild some of our old ships and this is with the battleships but I feel like a modern navy is better. Start to land list will accept for this line of research. Let's focus some more on the next set of submarines. I, there's quite a difference here. A bit more speed, 10 extra HP, which is good. Fuel usage is pretty much the same. Sub visibility, it's better. More on reliability, it, constru it needs just a bit more as far as construction goes. But yeah, overall, it's so much better. And I think it's very important for us to have those submarines. And maybe it's very important that we need now to think of how could we produce even more. more fuel as well because I know we're working towards this maybe we'll just push this up I need more synthetic refineries and I think I'll place one in Romania have a few more here probably here just for to get that or, yeah, this is what we need. The stock, stockpiling is not necessarily what we need. It's production. And with that in mind, this is all the time that we have for today. We are going to come back tomorrow on another hour-long episode as we continue to, to, to fight for the Second World War and hopefully we will take over Italy like that that is a dream that is my dream <laughs> uh, to have at least a navy of a submarine navy to to take over Italy so we'll see if we manage to succeed on that until tomorrow I thank you very much for watching and I wish you all to have a wonderful day